All right, this is gonna be my live trade. Um, it's, gonna, it's probably gonna take a little bit, but I'm not in it yet. Traded PayPal today. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're down for the week because of ZS, but that's okay. Uh, PayPal. We're up on them. Traded them today. So we got a $12 move and we got a uh, $20 move times that by four. Or no, not a $20 move. A $40 move and a $12 move times that by 40 twice. Uh, that's a lot uh, to take in. But now we're sitting, we're waiting for PayPal. Oh, it did pinch already, man. So I was basically waiting for this next candle to be a little lower. Um, hopefully it comes down a bit. But basically, when it when it's narrowing in like this, the top and the bottom, uh, good, hopefully it gets rejected. Narrows in, you want it as tight as you can before you enter the next position. Because then there's going to be a lot of... Um, Resistance. Oh, good, good. It got rejected. Perfect. Uh, so we're going to want to take a position close as you can, like the next expo. We're not going to take it right this second. It did get rejected. That's amazing. We want this to narrow in a little bit more before we take the position. Because then it's called a tight squeeze. You see how all the resistances are like on each other right now. This is the one minute chart. So obviously they're, they're not really that far apart to begin with. But you want them on top of each other. And then you want the bullish and bearish bands. Or not the bullish. Oh, fuck. The bowler bands to be as tight as possible. So you can get a tight squeeze in. Uh, this is so we're going to wait for about two, two or three more minutes. Let it get a little more red. This is perfect. Keep it going. Red, red, red. That's what we want. Want the cheapest price possible. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to go 50 contracts deep. So I'm going to get the... Mm, a bit way lower now. Okay, it's really dropping. Okay, let's go for 49 bid. Understand it's the same day risk. Okay, three filled. Okay, they all filled. Okay, now we're in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hopefully this bounces. We actually did get the low, so that's good. That's good. Hopefully. Oh, this is. We are at the low. Damn, okay. So it actually squeezed down instead of up, but we're on an upward position. So hopefully it gets rejected right here. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to close this up. I'll give it the minutes. Give it the minutes. Yeah, it's not looking good, but it looks like... Ooh, no. No, no. Okay, I'll wait on it. Wait on it. Did break through support, so that's not good at all. Unless you count these as support over here. No, it's not. Uh shit well what a great trade to start the series huh i definitely gotta close this up jesus christ that was quick it was a quick move down oh my goodness yeah i thought i was gonna squeeze up just haven't closed it yet just because it looks like, we, we should see a bull flag coming. I don't know if this is it. We're only down 275 now. This is probably the best place to close right here. Yep. Just got rejected, so... I'm trying to close it for at least... Like, because I'm not trying to take a big red L, so... 21575, that's where we need to be... Um, Hopefully, you can clear it. Uh, looks like this is taking up as resistance, this little bottom area here. So we might see a bounce here, honestly. Damn, okay. 
Okay, no bounce at all. My rule of thumb is I wait until the candle is um, done, so. Okay, so it's holding resistance. If it breaks below this, I'm out, clearly. Gotta go. Actually did break a new low, which sucks. Shit, boys. This is not where I want to be. Oh my god, come on internet. I like how you can see like the price down here. So it still hasn't broke the 215.14 low. And it actually is bouncing, so we're just gonna hold it real quick. 215.14. It's at 215 215.20. 215.24. 215.36. Okay, let's let's look back at the chart. Uh-huh. So I don't want to take a thousand dollar loss, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully it don't get rejected here, and then we can see a little buyback coming. <sighs> what do I do? This is not the time, Weeble. That noise in the background, yeah, that's the dishes going. I was doing the dishes earlier while trading, yeah. Because Weevil is so easy to trade on. You get to use these. It's not, like, easy to trade, but it's, like, easy to look at charts and be at trading at the same time. Okay, but we're getting close. 215.40. And it broke over the top. Oh, we should see a bullish buyback right here. Let's go. So... We gotta go two sixteen seventy four. That's our. I'm just gonna close this. So it's not negative. What did we get in it? It's not gonna tell us what we bought it at. Not from here. Okay, average price to forty nine, forty nine a piece. So no. I get a little lost in these settings, a little different than other platforms. Okay, <clears throat> we're coming in on a green. It's getting a bought up. This is why you wait, guys. Waiting is always is the biggest part of the game. You gotta understand patience, understand waiting, understand your emotions when trading. If you have emotions on the trade, you're gonna lose a lot of money. All right, this is probably when I should exit here. This is the least, so, Come on, we will work it out here. That's rejected, just like I thought. We better get out now. Close it up. Close it up, you know, taking the $2 lot. Um, we got it at a .5. Didn't want to risk it for the biscuit, you know what I'm saying? Um, this could get rejected right here because it got rejected at the top over there. Oh, wait. So, yeah, it looks like it's pushing through, but, you know, it got rejected up here at the top. So, and that was the level it got rejected on. So that's why we sold. You know, it could have went down, could have went up. Looks like it's going up. But, you know, at least we didn't take a $1,000 loss. That's the whole point, understanding where your losses are and understanding where the resistance are to hold. A lot of people would have closed at the bottom there. Uh, so did we take a loss on PayPal? Let's look. We took a hundred dollar loss. That's okay. It was only two pips better than the thousand bucks. I know we're down a lot. 
Uh, that was ZS and some other stupid trade. Just... Literally, we cleared ZS yesterday and got all the way back up to break even. And we just decided to hold overnight. Um, decided not to close it open either because it waited. But it got rejected twice, so then we closed. Um, so that was like a $5,000 loss. And so was... I don't know, this other stock. I don't even know what it was. Oh, it was PLTR. My buddy was telling me, you know, it's, uh, it's bouncing off the 26th day, but it was getting rejected, so we got that wrong. And we had to pay for that, so... Uh, where's PayPal at? Let's see where it's at now. Oh, so it is doing good, you know, this is... Looks like it's gonna pump here. But yeah, we're not getting in. I think I'm good. Actually, it's getting rejected too. It's a little up and down, but at least we got out, you know, $100 loss instead of 1,000. But this is what day trading is all about, guys. If you like videos like this, let me know. Leave a like, comment, and I'll try to do a live trade of me doing good. So, I mean, I just had four in a row. This was five and we took the loss, but it wasn't, wasn't bad, so.